wonderful people. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is another day of a vlogist. I'm uploading a brand new video every single day in August and you guessed it, it's another makeup collection video. I've got a full playlist down below of makeup collection and declutter um, and I'll leave the links to the other ones I've done so far in a vlogist as well. If you are new here, hello. Ooh. I don't think you've seen my nails yet on camera. But if you are new, I am a Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of them in the future. It also really helps out my channel. And don't forget to enter my huge giveaway linked down below full of Makeup Revolution goodies. Um, let's just get straight into it. Today we are going to be doing my highlight and a bronzer collection. So this is a, my highlight and bronzer drawer. As you can probably tell, I haven't put the screws back in since I've moved house, so this drawer comes out a little bit more than what it probably normally would. <laughs> um, so please excuse that. So I think what we'll just do is our normal little technique of working our way from the front to the back, but I think I might do it in column order because we have got a couple of clear dividers in here. Bronze and highlighter is something that like I have quite a lot of, as you can tell, um, but I don't have like a massive amount to have it in one full drawer like what's underneath this one and um, that's like bronze um highlight oh my god mascaras and stuff but i think this one which i don't think you'll be able to see this one's all of my primers like that is just a full drawer of primer and some setting sprays and primer sprays whereas i feel like my bronzer and highlighter isn't a massive enough collection for them to have their own drawer so i kind of combine them together so i have my bronzers here my highlights here and then anything else that just wouldn't fit <laughs> in the sides and then round the back as well so we'll start with my bronzers so i've got these little clear dividers which are from tj hughes just from the like, kitchen bathroom area just looks like this actually they're either from tj hughes or they're from bnm so i think i might have got them from either of them places so we have two of my MAC ones. These are probably my favourite bronzers ever. So we have, um, I mean, this is probably my favourite one, but like this Minai Skin Finish is probably my favourite bronzer ever. I wouldn't recommend getting the medium tan. The dark tan is the one to get. I know it looks scary, but I promise you this can work even if you are really, really, really pale. And also when you're really tanned as well. It's like my fake tan bronzer and my everyday bronzer. This is the medium tan one. I just wouldn't recommend it really for bronzing, to be honest with you. Um, then we have this one from Miss Beauty London. This is from the pound shop. This is the bronzer in the shade number one Miami Glow. I actually really like that bronzer. I'd recommend if you're looking for a really cheap, affordable bronzer, but like is really nice and not like, oh, excuse me, hiccup, not massively orange. I definitely recommend that one. Then we've got this one from Primark. This is the PS Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunset, which costs £2. Oh, we have this one, which is a new one to my collection and probably one of my favourite ones that I've picked up in a very long time. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade... I can never open this, by the way. This is in the shade Macchiato, number three. Macchiato, I don't know if you can see that, but it's... Oh, my God. It is beautiful. I'd really, really, really recommend their cream bronzers. It makes me want to try their normal bronzer because it is literally that good. Um, we have one from Fair Stockholm. This is in the shade Cancun. We have a Hula um, Bahama Mama bronzer. I'd use that one more for contour. We've got a Galan Terracotta bronzer. We've got the Kat Von D contour um, and highlight palette. The Doll Beauty Medium Tan, um, Gimme Sun. And then we have a Hula Mini and a Hula Light Mini as well. Then in the middle, we have my highlights. I'm just going to grab these ones out as we go. So the first one is from MAC. This is the Whisper of Guilt Extra Dry Dimension Skin Finish. If you have a little bit of a tan, like not me when I'm on my palest, just a little bit of colour to my skin, you can definitely get away with that one because I, I know it does look a bit darker. And um, we have this one, which I don't really get on very well um, with. I tried it the other day and I just, I can't seem to like suss out the best way to apply it this is the Colourpop um super shock cheek highlighter um in lunch money but i just can't seem to get the hang of how to apply it best probably my favorite highlighters is doll beauty and um, so we have the doll beauty light this is in the shade like a diamond which is my favorite one 
as you can tell it has crumbled quite a few times because it has such a big hole in it now um so i wouldn't recommend it for traveling when it gets to that because it crumbles quite easily but you can press it together really easily as well this is a mini of um what's this one i think like it's this one's yeah the other one oh, um this is shine bright and the other one's like a diamond so i have kind of hit pan with shine bright as well but that one um, is when i have to be a little bit more tanned because it just leave a bit of a color on the cheeks um if you aren't like as tanned we have the becca one in the shade um champagne pop the jacqueline hill one i don't know if it still is jacqueline hill but that's when i bought it um mac soft and gentle we have um the gilded honey by laura geller then we have a pixie one back here this is a, a collaboration with a um like blogger or youtuber and this is the glowy powder in london luster really really stunning and especially you have quite a pale complexion the becca one in all pearl we've got another doll beauty one back here um called pretty little glow this is the exclusive one with pretty little thing and um, which is a bit more of a rosy gold one it's not really one that i typically reach for you can see kind of like the pink tone to it a little bit as well and um, so we have them two we also got to kind of fit it back in now. I don't know how I done this because like, how did I get it in? There we go. In the first place, we have one from Winky Lux in the shade Charm. Um, what's this one? Oh, this is a 17 um, Shimmer Brick Instant Glow one. Um, and then we have one from Josh Cosmetics, which isn't really one that I reach for either. Um, this is the pressed highlighter in Creme. As it looks like we have a PS Ultra Glow one from Primark in the shade Trophy, which looks like quite a similar one to like the Rihanna one, like the Trophy Wife. Um, we have this one, which probably was the one that uh, made me fall in love with highlighters. It's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Probably that in What's Up by Benefit made me fall in love with highlighter. And then we also have the Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills one back there as well. Then to the side, we have the Heartbreakers highlight from I Heart Revolution. We have the Goddess of Love one, which is a triple baked highlighter again from um, Revolution. We have this from Revolution, which is my favourite contour stick, I think possibly ever. And um, this is the Revolution, the one contour stick. I think I paid like two three pound i don't think it was any more than three pound in the sale and um, for this i don't know if they do it anymore but it's such a shame that they don't because i absolutely love it i mean you can see it i've got like the tiniest little bit left and um, i got my friend nicola obsessed with it as well because it's just one of them sticks that it just is so easy to work with like it's so beginner friendly um and i think it's probably one of the reasons that i fell in love with it because it just gives you it looks really scary the color but it just gives you this soft lovely glow to the skin it's just oh it's just amazing and then we have the instant glow cream bronzer from 17 as well i've got all this when 17 went like into the sale i think they've stopped doing the brand now but yeah i got that one and we've got another triple um baked bronzer from revolution this one's summer of love um i'll show you this one let's start one i need to start using these side things more often so i forget that they're here we have a little Tarte Tarte Pro Glow To Go palette. This has two highlighters um, and a bronzer. I reached for the, this one um, a couple of times, but I haven't really reached for... Oh my God, I've just totally just stuck my nail in that. I haven't really reached for the highlighters all that much. And then underneath all of that, we have my Soap and Revolution highlighter palette. But obviously, again, because it is tucked back there, I forget it's there. Um, I've got my Hourglass palette. This one is the Ambient Light and Edit Volume 3. Um, so you get six different colours in it. I used to be obsessed with this, and I had to literally put it back in my makeup collection so that I started picking up other things, because I was like, I'm literally just using this, especially for the bronzer and the, and the blushes. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then tucked, I mean, you can see it a little bit on camera back here. We have my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I need to start using this more often because um, it was gifted to me when I left house. No, was it my 21st birthday that I got this? I think it was my 21st birthday slash me leaving um, House of Fraser. My staff, like my work colleagues got me this and the highlighter, oops, the highlighter probably, I think I might put it in my, yeah, the highlighter I've put in my primer drawer because it was, it would be one that I'd put underneath my foundation if that makes sense. Um, 
So yeah, I definitely need to start using this again. Um, we've got the NARS one, like a NARS palette that I got years ago. This is the Guy Baldwin one. Um, it has the one night stand cheek palette. It's got a blush and a bronzing powder in and a highlighter. It just looks like this. Um, it was one that I used to reach for quite often, um, but not so much anymore. What else do we have tucked? I don't even know what I've got back here. What's this? I think this is the Anastasia. Oh my God. Beverly Hills one. I can't get it. There we go. Um, oh yeah, so this is the contour kit, the powder one. Um, just looks like this. I think we have a sleek one. Yeah. Um, this is the highlighting palette in Sol Solstice. So I have pronounced it. That one. And then we also have, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach this one. This is the Jeffree Star one. This is massive. But when I bought it, it was too light for me. Um, it's in the shade Ice Cold. It's just too, it's too light. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, to be honest. It's so big though. So yeah, they just kind of all tuck behind there. I need to start using them though, because I forget that they're there. I didn't even know I had. Oh my God, I can't. I'll have to do. I don't know I had as many um, stashed back there as well. So yeah, that is literally my bronzer and highlighter collection. I feel like it's it's big, like don't get me wrong, it's big, like no one needs this many. But I feel like it's not as big as what other parts of my collection is like. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. But like I said, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these in the future. I also have a huge playlist for my makeup collection and decluttering videos. Like I said, I'll leave that link down below. Go enter my huge giveaway to win yourself some Makeup Revolution goodies. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you tomorrow for a brand new video of Vlogist, 6 o'clock UK time. Bye, guys.